Hey guys, it is Katie Pie here from Second Chance Pie. Yes, I know it has been forever since I've cut a video and um, posted a video blog. But I have been starting to write again recently through some built up pressure in my, my life, I guess, uh, and a lot of a huge amount of isolation. When I go through challenges, I withdraw a lot, hugely. Um, I stay at home a lot. I um, try and understand things better in my own mind and I try and not make a fool of myself out there in front of people by pretending that I'm doing well or that I've got my head around it all. <laughs> Often I don't. And the last six months have been an amazing um, journey and challenge for me again. <laughs> Uh, and at times it has felt like I've gone completely in circles and I can't, I've lost count of the number of times I have been through such a cycle and come through the other, other end again. It has been over, um, over seven years now since all of the mess began in my life. And I just, I'm, I'm changing in me at the moment. I'm changing a lot. And maybe, <laughs> maybe it's a lot to do with the fact that I am now 34, uh, single, as a woman on my own um, in this economy trying to keep a, a roof over my head and earn a good income and also realizing that I um, it, I'm now in that last window of my of my years to be able to do the ultimate uh, achievement or produce the ultimate um, achievement in life as a child as, as a woman's body but we are God, women are amazing. We can be so stupid too, but we are quite, uh, quite special creatures of this planet to be able to produce life and grow life and uh, and have babies. I just think is is incredible. Uh, and it's crazy as you get to your mid thirties as a woman, you're realizing, am I going to be lucky enough to be in that position one day? It's a very real. It's a very real thought and it does worry me a lot but it's also helping me to just accept and understand and, and grow with where I'm at at the moment. It has been a shit fight to say the least and a lot of you have followed me through my highs and my lows, my mega lows, um, through my depression, through my PTSD, uh, through my physical rehabilitation, the pain, the being completely bloody lost with the lack of direction from loss of careers and friends and relationships and oh goodness me I um, couldn't have made more of a mess of my life if I had tried but I also like to think I have learned a huge amount from it and I'm in a really good place now um, it has just been in the last two months that I have absolutely broken smashed through some major um, brick walls that have been up in front of my face and achieved some of the ultimate goals um, I've still got a couple of biggies to tick off and get through but that dream of being able to just exist and do my best in a job and be a good person and help other people out get up each day with a fresh approach and have a roof over my head and have a car that doesn't break down every day and look forward to being able to achieve more in the future that is what I'm starting to achieve and that is a huge amount of what I lost for so very long uh, when you go through major depression and PTSD you lose sight of your worth a huge amount and I have been supporting a few people through at the moment who are having a, a tough time um, and you, it, it's, it's hard at the time you don't understand you don't get it you, you can't see it getting better and it hurts and it's painful and you do feel lost <laughs> goodness knows I certainly did but being on the other side of it now in a, in a healthy mind state looking back I am so glad I'm so thankful that I got the help I, I got that I had the courage to reach out and say help I'm not doing well on my own I can't get through on my own I need support um, learning to say people have often thought of asking for help as a weakness and maybe as we grow up it's something that's almost ingrained in our in our way of thinking um, or what's expected of us that you should just you should be able to do things on your own 
but <sighs> through learning to ask for help comes huge um, strength and um, dare I say it success I wouldn't be where I am today without asking for help and accepting help. Um, accepting it is a whole other story again, and I find it a harder step of the whole process. So yes, I'm rambling a lot tonight, but I'm just I am filled with some very exciting energy. Um, things aren't perfect in my life, but I, god damn, they are just going from strength to, to strength. Um, and maybe it's sheer determination and stubbornness not to give up. But I just want to say to anyone out there that has been in this rut for so long and they, they can't see progress and they're getting frustrated and are feeling lost, just hang in there. Do hang in there. Because <laughs> some people's journeys are quicker to reach a destination and others, like me, take forever. And you fall down 20 times and you get back up 10 and you lose your balance and you look like a fool and you hurt and you graze your face, you break your nose, whatever. Um, but when you finally learn to stay standing with that stability, is, I can't describe it in words um, how rewarding it can feel and how proud you can be of, of getting through it. So um, today is a good day. Tomorrow I am out on the uh, street appeal for the Life Flight Westpac Rescue Helicopter, yeah, hurrah, giving people second chances in life, like me. So if you're in Wellington and you see anyone in a red bib with a bucket uh, collecting for the chopper appeal, um, please donate. It's always greatly appreciated helping to save lives like mine. Um, and just be a good person. Just be a good person. There's people struggling out there. They've got some real hardship going on and you don't necessarily have to understand what they're going through but you don't also have to judge them without knowing what they're going through so just be a better person today that's all i can say is is do something for someone else without without uh motive have a great day ahead and i hope to check in again soon ciao